Uh, storm track weather alert day is in effect for Tuesday as we're still tracking the threat of severe storms now in the afternoon and also overnight into Wednesday. Uh, latest timing is even pushing our cold front a bit further into Tuesday night, but still uh, all forms of severe weather possible. We could still see large hail and tornadoes in the afternoon, and that threat does switch more to those damaging winds and downpours. Uh, with that afternoon round, we're going to see still steadily rising temperatures ahead of that for Monday, uh, getting well above average. We should only be in the 60s, uh, lower 60s at that for this time of year and we're actually uh, well into the 70s for Monday and actually 80s for Tuesday. Warmer air flowing in ahead of the system than we even had with this last one and that's more energy for this to work with here uh, though these warmer temperatures could also kind of put a wrench in the forecast as we'll see a little bit too warm air getting into the lower levels here. Uh, as usual we have that warmer air rising to condensate into those clouds here uh, but we'll actually see a uh, different setup as we get into uh, early Tuesday morning. We'll have that warmer layer of air that's likely going to block a lot of activity during the early half of the day, though uh, we will still see even possibly some on and off of those severe storms here uh, already tonight. We'll catch a few likely uh, lighter showers here in northern Missouri that could actually develop, though, into a low severe risk here. Just a 5% chance of that uh, to the northeast, and that has actually shifted further out of mid-Missouri. Uh, it's into Tuesday as we keep gaining uh, more of those degrees here that we are really focusing on that severe risk. We now have had the latest storm predictions uh, center update actually a four out of five risk in our northeastern counties that's northeast of moberly here uh, particularly there that is upgraded for our tornado risk in those areas uh, that's where we'll be following that afternoon round that will particularly uh, possibly develop that in uh, our northeastern counties here. That's a 15% chance where you see that red highlighted uh, dropping off to a 5% in brown areas for the rest of Missouri, but still uh, we'll want to take this seriously. It's a very similar setup to what we had with our last system, and we'll get through that with future track here. Uh, we'll see those uh, conditions for Monday still staying mostly clear. We did have a few uh, showers actually uh, with a weak disturbance nearby. Those uh, cleared out before the morning hours, but still could get another resurgence of that tonight. Again, this boundary will be with us for most of today, and that could get that low hail risk even from some of these in northeastern Missouri tonight. Uh, it's very low risk, though, overall for any of those storms uh, to produce any smaller hail. Uh, we will likely clear up a bit for early Tuesday. This is that cap really working against any activity early, uh, which could allow even more instability to build if we stay sunny enough. Uh, and here into the mid-afternoon hours, Latest timing coming in about uh, 3 to 4 p.m. here with this storm uh, initializing in western Missouri possibly. Depending on where these pop up, we could see uh, more of this tracking through the area, and these particularly will hold that large hail and tornado risk uh, through the mid to late afternoon. Uh, tracking to the northeast, that's where we have that highlighted risk for tornadoes. Uh, with that afternoon round, we'll likely clear up for the earlier uh, overnight hours, but about midnight here, uh, this front will begin to push through mid-Missouri, and that will trigger a widespread line of storms that will bring likely damaging winds uh, and heavy downpours briefly. It's likely already even out by early, or early Wednesday morning here, uh, but still all forms of severe weather here are possible across mid-Missouri as we'll see those winds, particularly with the overnight system and uh, large hail and tornadoes in the afternoon. That's where we'll be much warmer, less competition for those storms as well uh, across the area. Our flooding risk you saw is very low. It's going to be a quick round of storms here and overall not seeing much rainfall uh, other than what we'll get from those heaviest storms. Uh, still, we'll want to make sure you have wet multiple ways to uh, stay updated here uh, on the forecast, especially with that overnight round of rain. Uh, even a weather radio, a good idea to make sure you can stay awake as that will be approaching your area. Uh, we'll definitely want to continue to stay aware for that uh, weather alert day here on Tuesday uh, as we'll continue to follow all severe threats possible during the afternoon and overnight hours.